This is for the uh, fact that you're a white man and I'm a black woman. I have less privilege than you. Thank you. <laughs> at the center of a viral video who claimed a man threw a brick at her head because she would not give him her phone number is now wanted by Houston police. This story got national attention after that woman live streamed what she claimed was the aftermath on Instagram and started a GoFundMe. Daniela, Houston police got called to this street in September, and when they arrived, the woman seen in that viral video told them that an Uber driver threw a brick at her head and then tried to kidnap her. But tonight, she has become the focus of this, this criminal investigation because Houston police say the surveillance footage captured by cameras on this street doesn't match her story. Y'all have a seat. Y'all take a seat because I'm getting ready to deliver some news to you all that's going to shock you and it will hurt you. So take a seat. I'm gonna start off with saying that I hope this young woman takes the time necessary to explain herself because she owes a whole lot of people on this app an explanation. Well, 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 isn't this interesting? Brick Lady was a scammer all along and guess what? Black men were the only ones who were investigating how real the story was and were the only ones who exposed her for who she was way before any of this even came out. Even through every hate train they got from every corner and everyone. Doesn't that tell you something? This woman has been arrested for scamming people with this whole brick to the face incident that took place. She's known as the brick lady. Her name is Ro. And it was a war here on TikTok. She claimed that she was hit in the face with a brick by a black man and black women rose up to support her. Black men rose up to tear her down. They called her a scam. They said she was lying. And according to this news report, those men were right. Let's be clear about one thing. Black men never tore her down they were telling the truth and even whilst the truth is out there to prove how black men were right it just shows how much black females hate black men because you can't just outright say they were right they were telling the truth instead even your language exhibits the problem that started from the beginning they never tore black women black female or rode down black men came with facts came with proof came with videos that were people that she knew that were there they weren't just saying it outright and tearing her down no they came with proof and explaining and breaking things down that this is a scammer you're all being scammed so let's just get the story clear first black men weren't tearing her down they were simply telling the truth she has been in, she has been charged in Houston. She has been accused of making the whole thing up. She raised $42,000 on GoFundMe. And according to this article, it was all a scam. The whole story, it was all a scam. The article says that she claimed a man assaulted her with a brick outside a Houston club and now she stands accused of raising tens of thousands of dollars in a GoFundMe scam. The article talks about how this isn't 
her this wasn't her first scam the article has spoken to friends of hers who are no longer friends of hers because they said that she was scamming people it goes into full detail of the investigation all of the things that they found it talks about the people that they spoke to it talks about video footage that they've seen so when black men were literally showing black women and black females evidence to back this up showing them videos showing them how she has done this before and this is what she does because that's all they were doing in that small time frame no one believed black men now the authorities and now articles want to just really reiterate everything black men said and this is what's wrong is that black females never want to listen to black men black women never want to listen to black men either always need somebody else outside of the community someone else to tell you what to do somebody else to prove to you that something is wrong but when the black man himself had the proof had the evidence black females tore down black men Black men didn't tear her down, black females and women tore black men down for doing the exact same thing that the article was doing, that the police are doing, all the information is out there, they said it way before and put it out there. And this is the most consistent problem between the relationship between the black man and the black woman, the black man and the black female, is that you never listen. It goes into her criminal history. Osman has several prior charges in the Virgin Islands, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Hennepin County, Minnesota, Williamson County, Texas, Travis County, Texas. She is currently on bail for a separate offense from September of 2022. It was a felony assault and domestic violence. She was charged with two counts of misdemeanor domestic violence in Steele County, Minnesota. Her name is Rhoda Osman. She goes by Ro for short. I believe her TikTok page was called Ro Reports. She's been charged with a felony, theft by deception. She was charged in Harris County and the Harris County District Attorney's Office is asking the court to enter a bail of $50,000 on the theft by deception charge that she now faces. Ladies, get ready because you know these men are going to be running amok on this app. You know it's going to be a whole bunch of disrespect throne you know it's going to be a whole bunch of i told you souls get ready for all of the think pieces get ready for all of the lives get ready for all of the videos that you are going to see by these incels proving my point even more this is her attitude towards black men who actually try to protect black women and black females and you guys don't seem to see that they didn't tear her down they were trying to prove to you that you are all being scammed you are donating your hard-earned money to a scammer and so when black men were actually trying to speak out about it and posting videos about it that is them protecting you because you guys got scammed not black men and she's off somewhere with 42k in her bank she could be somewhere in somalia for all we know she ain't around she made her money and she bounced and still this black female only has negative things to say about black men and that's how brick lady did what she did she knew that black females today have this hate for black men and used it to her advantage to get a come up and some money from it she did a quick rich scam and it worked and still your mindset is warped around how black men 
reaction is going to be and how it's going to affect you. Um, I cannot believe I'm reading this. Woman who claimed to have been attacked with a brick by a man now charged with faking the entire thing, falsely raising 42K on GoFundMe. Ro, for some reason, I cannot tag you. I can't even find you. And I started following you and you followed me back when you first got back on TikTok. But girl, I went to bat for you. I went to bat for you. Like, she denied you the access to her phone number. What is the entire fuck? 121K. The sad thing about this is People saw there were men you. standing around saw watching this happen. And no one stepped in to help K this people. woman. Saw I'm going to generalize the statement. And now I don't really this give shit? a rat's ass who you gets are mad at me. It. Men have become so fucking weak to the point where... I pray that this is not well. They said charges, so girl, you you you've been outed, and you've obviously gotten the hell off of any social media. So um, that shit just pissed me off. You make it so much harder for women to come forward when they actually are physically assaulted in any way, form, or fashion, verbally, whatever. You have literally just put black women back. You get what you deserve. Of course, they can't believe it. They wanted to believe it was true. While defending Brick Lady with all their might, now Brick Lady, all she did was reveal how much you all hate black men. That's why it's embarrassing for you lot. All you females did was jump on the I hate black men train. Because of whatever reasons you have, whatever anger hurt you have towards black men and what black females did was use her clout to drag black men i don't even think half of them even cared they just wanted to hate on black men because that's, that's how they felt and have been feeling for a very long time most of these females i'll be honest just wanted to bash black men just wanted to mock black men and use Brick Lady's story as a justification to their own failures in their own lives. In reality, Brick Lady only revealed how toxic you all really are. How you'll do anything for clout. See, they have this sisterhood thing going on. How black men did us, how black men don't protect us. Now look at you lot. We had an African American female lie about her being kidnapped. Now we have an African female scamming pe black people for money. Can you not see who the problem here is? Instead of always quick to blame black men for being frustrated at you, all of you, all of your antics. They have every right to feel what they feel. They have every right to say what they say because it's quite clear that black females will do anything. And if it means lie and manipulate people for their own come up, They'll even do it to their own sisters. They'll use feminism for their own come up and blame men in the process. You all hate black men because they speak about the truth and expose your toxic behavior. Brick lady wasn't just a problem. Every single person who decided to hate on black men without even taking the time to listen to black men or look into the story more are also the problem. Brick lady didn't put black women back because black women were never moving forward in the first place. Brick Lady only showed a mirror how backwards you all really are. And it don't look good, does it? Brick Lady is a reflection of black female state today. You females are the ones who put other black women in danger, not men. You're the ones who make black women single and unmarried, not black men. You're the ones who make it harder, harder for black women to be seen and heard, not black men. You are the ones who make it harder for black women to be protected, not black men. I'm your hostess, Reminate Princess. These are my last thoughts. This whole story to me just reveals the state of black females today not just brick lady but overall it's as if a mirror was reflecting back to black females 
and their actual hate they have for black men and how unsubmissive they are and how chaotic and toxic they are and their mind state that's what brick lady did was show a mirror to themselves all brick lady did was use what was already there to her to her advantage as messed up as it was that's what she did let me know what you think thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye